Yeah. It's what's assigned. Yeah, but how do we assign it? And that's exactly right, because all they're doing is they're looking to see, is it a penis or is it vag... Well, it's not even a, vag a vagina. They're just looking at... But the it's outer. also checked Caucasian. And it's checked white or black or Caucasian or Asian. Or so I can be a black man. Yes, you could be. But yes, I'm clearly white. Well, possibly. You know, the thing is... Okay. Okay. I'm Tanner. Okay. I'm this, Suzanne. This is Suzanne. Tell yeah. us a little bit, bit, little bit about yourself. Okay. I, um, I, I live here because I have a daughter and a son-in-law and two grandsons that live in Stillwater, and I moved here to be close to them. Yeah? What do they do? Yeah. Well, my... Uh, Grandson, I mean, my son-in-law uh, works for an oil and gas trucking company, and he's their data analyst guy. Oh, wow. And, yeah, he, like, he does all of that. Yes. All the volumes and all. He does all of that kind of stuff. So he's really busy. My daughter is a stay-at-home mom. She has a 5-year-old son and a 12-year-old son. Oh, wow. So. Well, that's nice. Yeah. And so, yeah, he's really smart, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so anyway, so that's, that's the family. And, um, and so I moved here to, well, so, I've been in Oklahoma, you know, but, and they, they've moved around. And so I've kind of moved around with them and, and so that I could be close to them. So where are you so, originally from? Arkansas. Oh, really? Yeah. Where at? Uh, Fayetteville. Okay. Right, right across the way, you yep. know, and Blair grew up there, and um, so. I've been there a time or two. Yeah. 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 It's a nice place. Yeah. I mean, and, and we're Arkansans, you yes. know, so, yeah, so. Um, well, um, <clears throat> what do you want to talk about today? It's up to you. You. I. I. I I don't know Oklahoma that well. Yeah. I, I don't, I'm here because of the kids. I, I was in oil and gas myself. I'm an accountant. And so I did accounting work in, yes. in the oil and gas industry, uh, mainly in corporate accounting. So that's what I did, but I don't do it anymore. So okay. I'm just retired. Now. How long did you do that for? Uh, thirty something years. Oh so, wow! Yeah, a long so time. yeah, for a long time. But oh. I wasn't here in Oklahoma for that long. I did it in Arkansas, and I did it in Texas. Oh really? Yeah, and then. Um, so and you pretty then, much stayed down in this area. Yes, yes. I didn't. I mean, I was in Arkansas, and then moved to Texas, and then came here when the kids. The were kids here. when the kids when the grandsons were born. Oh really? I moved here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. okay. I don't really get to talk to somebody from the other side that often. Okay. So politics? Uh, we can go there. Okay. I don't know how far we can go. I mean, but yes, we can go there. I mean, I'm not. I mean, I, I can talk with you until I okay. mean, we can. Yeah. Yes. I don't know a lot about local po politics. Okay. Um, I just, I just don't. I don't okay. know. I mean, that's fine. Honestly, I don't, I'm not an expert. I mean, yeah. I'm just some, some kid that works on a ranch and, right. you know. Right. So I'm not, I'm not really familiar with um, Oklahoma politics because it's not mine. Well, let's talk about like our nation as a whole. Okay. We can walk, we can talk about that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. And this is a little bit, oh, it's a touchy subject okay. elsewhere. Okay. But what is a woman? Do you know who Matt Walsh is? Matt Walsh? Yeah. No, I don't know who Matt Walsh is. Okay, he is a political commentator. Mm -hmm. um, they make movies and different stuff. And yeah. here a while back he made a movie about what is a woman. Mm-hmm. And he just went around, you know, to different people and, right. and, you know, just asked them, what is a woman? Yeah. So what what do you say to that? Well, I mean, 
there's um, I mean there's all kinds of women, you know. So there's moms and there's grandmothers and there's aunts and there's cousins. I mean, they, I mean females are are women, but we have transgender yeah. transgender women as well. So. Um, so do you think you know, a man can be a woman? Yes, if it's yes, if it is a transgender person, then yes. Yes, and I do believe I I have I, I accept that. So. so, like I said, I'm not an expert. So okay, okay, okay. I believe that there are people that are born in the wrong body. You know, I do. I do believe that. And so, are you a Christian? Yes, I am. Okay, so do you not believe that God made us in the image of Him? Yes, I do, but I also believe that there are mistakes in biology, in genetics, and that happens. Okay. There mm -hmm. is a, a different little section, intersex people. You know, they're not born with XY or mm -hmm. XX chromosome. Right, right. Okay. But that is like a very, it's like point zero. I understand about that too. Very, very and low. I understand that too. And we don't have a problem with those people. You know, there's no, <laughs> there doesn't seem to be any kind of legal problem with folks like that. But when it comes to transgender. I wouldn't say that we have a problem with it either, with them either. With transgender okay. people? Yeah. Well, it does when it comes to schools and... I think, okay, this is a free country. And when you turn 18, mm -hmm. you're free to live your life however you want to live your life. No, not in the state of Oklahoma. But you are, though. I mean, I, I know transgender people. In the state of Oklahoma, your insurance will not pay for... Uh, transition surgery in the state of Oklahoma. It's illegal. Insurance is, uh, okay, after you turn 18? Mm -hmm. They have, yes. I would have to check into that. Well, that's something that they're they're working on in the... But uh, what kind of surgery do you, do you mean? You say transgender surgery, but... Well, when, they're, when you're trying to transition from a male to a female or a female to a male. Yeah, it's called vaginoplasty. And they cut your thing I, off. Yeah, I don't know what the terms are for all of that, you uh, know. But, but those kinds of surgery are, I mean, and, and they're fine to be done. But um, the people, when you talk about the Senate and the House here in Oklahoma, they want all of that banned. Period. I think it's more so for children. It's not just children. I, I mean, I'll have to do some research. Well, you do. You I do wanted to have the laptop because, so we could pull some stuff up. Right. No, but, but I you couldn't can. get in there. I, mean, I mean, and that's fine too. Um, but I. Okay. So, but that's where that's my yeah. stand on it. Yeah. Okay, but. My stand is is that people are people. God made everybody, so there's no sin. So if somebody there is no sin. So if somebody comes to a doctor and they say, "Hey, I am transabled," which is actually a thing, and they say, "I want my arm cut off because I feel like I want I don't have an arm," and they want their arm cut off, should we cut their arm off? Um. I don't know about that because tr that to me is possibly a, a, a phobia type thing that they need maybe to be seen for. I don't know. Like something in their head. Yes. yes. But wouldn't we agree that no. it would be like the same scenario? No. No. Nope. Okay. How about this? How about if we could agree as either a state or a nation or whatever that when you turn 18, you can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. But before 18, a doctor, no medications, you know, mm -hmm. that are out of, out mm -hmm. of practice right. a, 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 or 
no surgeries, mm -hmm. none of that until you're 18. And when you turn 18, mm -hmm. you can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. I mean, would that be, you know, finding common ground, like coming, both well, sides kind of coming to the middle? Let's look at it this way. If you have a child and your child is telling you when he is or she is at the age of three, saying, I don't want to play with girl things. I want to play with boy things. And let me continue. Yeah, yeah. And later, like in the next year, says, I, you know, I want to dress as a boy. I don't, you know, I want to do things as a boy. I don't want, I don't want anything that has to do with being a girl. Yeah. When she goes to school and she wants to dress as a boy, she wants to do things as a boy, and then she starts being bullied because she's not a girl, not acting as a girl, doesn't look like a girl, gets her hair cut like a boy, all yeah. of that. And she becomes bullied by her classmates and even by some adults. Yeah. Adults do it too. So then she starts to get, she starts having emotional issues because of it. So at the and very so start. At the, now, and we're talking young. Yeah, okay, very we're young. We're talking young. And she has told her folks, I don't belong in this body. I need, this is just what she says. But a three-year-old articulated all this? Yes. I mean, do you yes. remember where you were when you were three? Yes, I do. And you a got lot a lot of, better memory well, than me. <laughs> well, maybe not, or maybe so. But children do remember. Not even at three, maybe at four, maybe at five, maybe at six. Yeah. And so when they start knowing these things, and as they progress... But just know, because they... Just because the girl wants to play in the dirt with cars and stuff. I mean, I was a young young boy once, and guess what? We used to play with my sister's dolls all the time, you right. know? But we were still boys, you know? Right. I, I mean, I think a kid can play with whatever they want. I mean, yes, we've constructed, or yes, we have norms, you know, boys play with norms. cars. Norms. Norm. Yes. But, I mean, every kid at some point in their life wants to play with different stuff. I mean... Yes, and what I'm saying, though, is that norms for some children is not what the norm is for the majority of kids. But it's not the majority, though. It's only... The U.S. population is 330,000. And that's not three, that's not correct. Not 330,000, 331,000 and something people, yes, no, million maybe, but not. Oh, thousand. did I say thousand? I'm sorry, yeah, yeah. 331 million, yeah, and some right. odd number, right? Sorry, my fault, right? No, no, okay. Five as of now, even though you have older people, you have you know, middle-aged people. Mm -hmm. You have all these people that mm -hmm. are identifying as transgender, mm -hmm. but it's still, all of that still only makes up 5% of the population. Yeah. So it's not the majority that feels that way. No, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think that either. I, I wouldn't think that they're, that they're a majority or, yeah. or anything like that. I'm just saying that of those of the people that are oh, oh okay no no i'm not saying that i'm just saying that there are people that they will follow the norm because of pressure they will but when a kid says okay and i used to use this when i was younger mm -hmm. And I know my mom and dad will see this. Mm -hmm. I can't do it. You know, they want, it's schoolwork or whatever it is. Well, I can't do it. But that's just what I say so that I don't have to do it. 
-hmm. Okay, so how does a little kid know what a boy and what a girl is? How can they feel like a girl when they don't even know what a girl is? They just know it's somebody else that's running around. I mean, they have to get it from somewhere. That they're picking it up from somewhere. Now, we could have the conversation about technology and how everything is readily available for anyone and everyone. 